in person. This is great. So we have here Darby Allen, Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, the world heavyweight champion of AEW, CM Punk, the TBS champion, Jay Cargill, Orange Cassidy, and Brian Danielson. Hooray. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Hooray. Welcome to Comic-Con. Uh, when did you guys get here? I got in. We all arrived together on a blimp. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday morning. The Tony Except Kong me. Blimp. Yeah. yeah, right? I got my own private blimp. <laughs> <laughs> so what have you guys been doing since while well, you've been here? What have you been geeking out about? This is Comic-Con. Like, every geek in, we, uh, we, we've, we've legitimately just been working. Yeah. We didn't really have a chance to geek out about anything yet. So it's been, it's been interview after interview. And, you know, I was on a, I was on a, a yacht. That oh, was the boat, boat. The yeah. IMDb boat. Yeah, that was yeah. kind of interesting. But then it was really just more of doing press, but on a yacht. <laughs> It's very fancy. Well, what do you want to geek out about? Like, what do you, when you, when you have some free time, when you get to, on the show floor, what do you want to look at? The cosplay. I want to see all the cosplay. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to walk through like that, but not <laughs> see him and Brian sitting here, but um, that's something I'm geeked out to see. Well, you're like a super cosplayer. You cosplayed as the Mortal Kombat Jade. You've yeah. cosplayed as Storm. Um, what, are you going to cosplay here or? I'm here for work, so no, I, I wish I could. I wish I could, but no, I'm here for work. Well, what would be your next cosplay when you get a chance to? I guess you'll see at the next pay-per-view. Oh, awesome, which um, is all out. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so this is AEW's first time at Comic-Con, and you're all here for the AEW Heroes and Villains panel. So, so much about pro wrestling is about good versus evil, heels versus, versus baby faces. So let's talk about heroes and villains in AEW. Um, let's start with Punk, He's the, world, the world champion. Now, Punk, you've been a hero and a villain in your career. And you know, wrestling fans can be tough and demanding. But since your comeback, you've been quite beloved. So um, what does it take to be a hero now in AEW fans' eyes? Uh, I, think, I think I have a currency with, uh, with the audience, just having been around for so long, coming from the indies, uh, going to the old WWF, and you know, being around the block, leaving, coming back after seven years, there's there's a connection that I have. So I I, I don't necessarily enjoy being a good guy. I feel like uh, it's hard work. It's a lot easier to get people to dislike you. Um, but I, I feel like it would be it would, it would be wasteful to, as I said, you know, just discard this currency that I have with the audience because it is it is I feel a special connection you know they're they chanted my name for seven years uh, I came back uh, they're still stoked about it so I feel like every time I'm in the ring is uh, special to me and I don't want to squander that and I feel like it's just a giant party with a bunch of your friends you know and I just want to have a good time with them yeah. that's awesome and Dr. Britt Baker uh, DMD um, you, when you there's a lot of fans actually that want to cheer you, but you work really hard to be booed. So like, what is it, what's the secret to controlling the crowd's emotions and making sure that they react how you want them to react? I think um, even specifically post-pandemic, fans just want to cheer everybody. The, the good, the evil, the in-between, they're, they're just so excited to be back in the live crowd and, and be able to be a part of the show with us. Um, but, and it, it also, you know, kind of goes against being a, a a heel that I have a chance, a DMD. Fans always want to make noise. They want to, they want to say, again, be, be a part of the show and the program. But um, as long as they're making noise, as long as there's a reaction, whether they love somebody or hate somebody, I think that's what makes the wrestling show fun. I think that's what makes it professional wrestling. Absolutely. And, um, you know, I, I still think most of them hate me. They, want to me. they, just, do the, they just do the chant because they like to be heard and, you know, and take part in the fun. Right. Uh, uh, Darby, how are you feeling, man? Are you okay? You had an intense match on, uh, on Wednesday against Brody King. Yeah, I'll live. <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah. Please don't die. <laughs> that chant. Um, so you're partners uh, a lot of time with Sting, who's one of the greatest heroes of wrestling for decades. So like, what has he taught you about being a hero? <laughs> that you can bash it crazy at 63. <laughs> And that's all I wanted to know. <laughs> I was going to say, I feel like you've also certainly inspired him to dive off really high places. No, I have literally. Is that all him? That's, that's all him. That, like, wow. I have, I have no, like, I knew people were like, young, Darby's horrible influence on you sting, but I was literally <laughs> like, today, I'm like, what's up? Like, today I'm jumping <laughs> off that balcony. I'm like, oh, okay. You don't try to rein him in? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, he's, he's a grown man. 
<laughs> well, Brian, you founded the Blackpool Combat Club with the interim AEW champion, John Moxley. And you know, the fans absolutely love you guys, but you also like, you purport pro wrestling violence. So in your mind, are the Blackpool Combat Club heroes? So I think some members are heroes and some, some members, myself included, are more villainous. Um, and I think that's an interesting dynamic that good people and bad people can be friends and, uh, and can have similar goals with, uh, but go about them in different ways. <laughs> And speaking of being a hero and a villain, Brian, when you were the champion of the other company, you talked a lot about climate change, you talked a lot about veganism, like really important social issues, but somehow you were the bad guy in that whole, whole storyline. That never made sense, but... Well, I would say a lot of people are a little bit backwards on some of the issues, to be honest, but it's not necessary. I actually, it, it's not the issues, it's the way that you talk about them, right? So you could say, peace, but like, we want peace in the world, right? And that mm -hmm. sounds like a great thing. But if you say, you assholes are the reason that we don't have peace, they're going to boo you, right? So <laughs> right. it's like it's... It, uh, and I think I, I found that out a lot when I... Um, being vegan, there's like... Veganism is, is great, but some of the vegans that I know are the meanest people in the world. <laughs> so <laughs> so it, it, the meanest, most judgmental people in the world. So, I'd, you know... I, I picked up a lot from some of my friends. <laughs> Orange Cassidy, you had an amazing match with uh, Wardlow a couple of weeks ago. And um, you know, right now, you, I just feel like you're always just Orange Cassidy, but the fans just love you anyway. Is that fair to say? Like, do, are, in your mind, are you, are you a hero or are you just you? Uh, uh, I feel I'm very chaotic neutral. <laughs> <laughs> that is perfect. That is probably the most perfect way to describe you. <laughs> hey, nailed it. And Jade, the TBS champion, congrats on being undefeated. Thank you. Now, you strike me as somebody who actually really enjoys being bad. I do. I do. It's fun. And um, it's just an extension of myself. I mean, I'm that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, so you have the baddies. So what does it take to be a baddie? Um, just knowing who you are and not letting people tell you who you are. Being confident. It's not about how you look. It's about your presence, your aura, and just standing for something. Awesome, awesome. Well, listen, I'd love to keep you guys longer, um, but we ran out of time, so thank you guys so much. Um, everybody watch AEW Dynamite Wednesdays on TBS and AEW Rampage Friday nights on TNT. Have a great Comic-Con, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.